Yay! Doing great. Doing fantastic. Happy Monday Night Live, everyone. Welcome. We are here tonight. Oops. It doesn't look like this is the right live. Did it start? The one yeah. on my... Is it? Are we all there? Huh. It's not showing we started on the actual YouTube, like on the TV. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Sorry, guys. I guess I have a major delay. Uh -huh. I think okay. mine, too, because I was like, oh, my gosh, she's, she's not on on my laptop, so I couldn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let me start over. <laughs> Welcome, Diana Gibson. Thank you so much for leading us again tonight on this witchy hat. Thanks I'm so excited. Me. You're welcome. Let me adjust. Yay. So I haven't put any paint in my palette yet because I'm like, oh, God, I don't know which ones to start Yay. with. <laughs> yes, palette prep. I love doing palette preps before uh, tutorials. Oh, my God, this rag is, like, stuck together. Hold on. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, and it's a it's a glitter. <laughs> okay. I wonder how that got there. I have no idea. <laughs> I wouldn't have the slightest clue. <laughs> I blame you. I blame uh, Wanda. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take all that blame. <laughs> <laughs> so I have, um, I'm going to go through the palette prep like a little bit fast just so I don't hold up the people that are like not painting this exact image. Um, okay. But this is what we're doing. So I'm going to start by putting down my colors on my palette, which today I'm going to be using Hooker's Green. Um, if you have, like I have very limited uh, colors because I use these and I do a lot of color mixing. So if you guys do not have these, I know not everybody has these paints. Um, if you don't, if you have the exact colors that you know you want to use on your witch hat, just use those. That's totally fine. Um, but, oh, sorry. That was uh, burnt umber that I'm using. So like a dark chocolatey brown because I, I really hate this green. It's very like artificial and it's, uh, Katie knows my absolute dis distaste for that green. <laughs> I hate it. Um, I might try to mix it up with a little bit of a lighter lighter green but if not it's okay we got you if you guys don't have specific colors and you need to color match uh just leave a comment and i will help you color match i've done it before um i'm gonna put down some raw sienna which is kind of like a pretty caramel looking color mm -hmm. um some burnt sienna and I'm going to start in acrylic. So I'm pretty much going to teach how to sketch it, you know, so that you're not um, like scared to to attempt to do this without tracing or anything like that. And then from there, we're going to uh, I'm going to teach you how to like put down the base paints, blend it out, add in a couple details and go from there. Right um, on. So this is cadmium yellow deep hue, which is just kind of like a really pretty golden yellow that we'll use to probably lighten up some of that green did i already do this yeah i already did this one this was burnt sienna and of course black and white some titanium white here i'm going to be mixing some crazy colors because i have like very little oh my god i just it completely went. dropped but. it <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's how mine are too because i i i've for the most part like 97 percent of my uh craft acrylics are gone and i just use i just color mix yeah well i find it's easier like seriously you just you know um yes once you really get the the gist of kind of not not actual color theory but the basics in your colors and what mm -hmm colors make wet it goes pretty easily yes okay where did i get lost here what what were the last couple of colors you put down i'm so sorry i was oh God, what did I do? The, the box yellow okay um, i have black and white white black and white okay black thank and you white. i'm all very okay. easy okay it's okay Wow, we have 33 people on today. Yay! That is Hello, so everyone. Hello. <laughs> well, howdy. <laughs> Welcome to the party today. Yay! Okay. I, I think I have it. We got I it. Think. Okay. Let me try to adjust it because I'm painting on a little wooden canvas today. 
um, because I'm actually out of the bigger Santorini stones. So I was like, I'm not going to waste my last ones. I'm going to do it on a canvas. (laughs) Cool (laughs) with me. Do it here on this pretty little board. I just prepped it with some uh, white gesso, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I didn't even do the sides. Um, And yeah, let's get started. It's a very simple sketch. Very, very simple, very easy. Um, okay. If you are new to sketching, I'm sure that I know that there's a lot of really talented people watching. Wanda included is with me. She underestimates uh-uh. herself, but she is amazing. Um, Thank you. What you want to visualize is look at the shape of your rock. If you're painting on a rock, look at your canvas, look at whatever it is that you're doing and kind of center yourself in it. And I think that this is where a lot of people get a little bit scared because they're scared to do like the proportions. Oh my God. Hold on. I just got a, I just got a low battery. Let me put the charger in. Okay. <laughs> I got it. It up. It's okay. okay. And then, um, so I know that I don't want to completely run out of room here with the bottom of the hat. So I'm going to just kind of give myself a general guide and you don't have to do this, but just for visual purposes, I'm just using a regular pencil to sketch, kind of give yourself like a little general area where you're going to be working. It can be a very, very light little circle. If you want to imaginary do it, that's fine too. I just know I don't want to, I don't want to go up past this point. I don't want to go below this point and I don't want to go out of this point. So, okay. Hold that thought. Just for a second. We got a bell. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. All right. Go, girl. Thank you so much. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. It's the hit and go here in the beginning. (laughs) No, it's perfect. I love that. I love that. Ring my bell. Okay, so the the center of this is where I'm going to align myself to kind of give myself the tip top of the hat, bring yourself down here, and draw yourself a little marking guide. Just say this is where the top of my hat is going to be. I'm not going to go further than that. And then bring yourself down here, draw yourself a little guide, and stop right there. It's a little bit proportional if you want to use a ruler. Go ahead and do that. You can do that. We're not going to connect them or anything just yet. Um, so this part, this little swooshy part, you want to kind of give yourself some good room for it. So I'm going to stop myself about here. Give yourself a good chunk to do the brim of the hat. I think that's what it's called, right? A brim, <laughs> maybe? Uh, I think you got me. I'm on the, the top <laughs> and the bottom, the, the little tippy part. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Something like that. So this is going to be my bottom. I'm going to connect myself down here. Remember, I don't want to go out too wide. This is going to be where the end of your hat is. So let's bring it in just a tad. So you're sketching yourself your little guides. We got so far a kind of like an upside down cross almost right here. Sorry, I'm all over here blabbering and I'm like not even giving one a chance to do her thing. <laughs> No, it's okay. The problem is I'm on a delay and the comments are all over your picture on my phone. So I have to either wait for the comments to chill or wait for the delay to catch up. I don't know. Anyways, you go right ahead. I will try to keep up. And if I get behind, oh, well, we'll just watch you. No, (laughs) no, no. I'm going to wait for you. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I got the two sides. Is this right? I got the top and the bottom, this yes. little middle thing, and then the two sides. Perfect. Okay. All right, then. Let's see. You're, I'm good. You're caught up here. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, here are my two two points, right? Here's the end of the hat, and here's the center. Let's go mm-hmm. a little, like, let's meet maybe about halfway in here. Okay. And then from here, if you guys want to use a ruler, you can use a ruler. If you want to just kind of eyeball it, let's do our triangle points meeting down. Ta-da! And then here we go. I'm going to go a little bit under this because you do want it to kind of give the illusion like it's not just a flat hat. It's tilted a little bit towards you. Uh Uh-huh. So let's kind of meet down here at the bottom. If you Uh, uh, have issues with trying to do like a, a complete 
you know, you don't want it to be too fat on one side, too fat on the other. Marking your points is the perfect way to do that. So okay. it's a little bit down. And then uh -huh. from here, it's pretty easy peasy. Um, here, I'm just going to connect these two. You can kind of curve it out down here at the bottom if you want to. Just remember, this can all be erased or painted over. It's your background. It's not a big deal if you go over or if your sketch isn't perfect. So there's the bottom of my hat. And... Here, we're going to connect to the top. And I'll just wait. <laughs> you see how that came? You, God, Wanda, you're fast. Well, I don't know about that. I'm erasing and starting over. <laughs> That's perfect. It's perfect. You don't have to be like super, super duper fast at it. It gives oh, me a chance cool. to sip on water. <laughs> <laughs> sip away, darling. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you're drinking water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm no, so I'm serious. <laughs> I have pure life. <laughs> oh, I was just kidding. <laughs> Hashtag pure what, life. No pickle beer? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I just want to say hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in. We got 36 viewers. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. Very grateful. And then from here, it just, the hat kind of curves out a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of a, it's kind of, kind of, uh, it's, I can't talk. It's got a little bit of whimsy to it. Okay. So we're going to divide our hat now. This little spot that we did to mark our point, forget it. That does not exist no more. It's not part of our sketch no more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was our center. I'm going to go over to the side just a tad. You don't want to go in the center. You want to go maybe about 0.25 of the way. Okay. And go up. It does not have to be a straight, perfect line. If you want to curve it, that's even better a little bit. Like, I just a slight, slight curve. Don't go all crazy. Get a boomerang going. Just kind of <laughs> curve it slightly. Oh, dude. I went the wrong way with the curve. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Because the hat is going to be... Uh, this this side of the hat is going to be dark because the light's coming in from this side. I talk a lot about light. Oh, my lives. I see. Okay. This is... And this is my weak, weak spots. I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> and then from here, here was our center point. Going to kind of go down here a little bit and kind of guide yourself to do that off to the side so that it, it's not just flat. You know, you're not just drawing a triangle and a bottom. You're giving it a little bit of a shape. It's, you know, looking a little bit witchy. Your hat looks so good, Wanda. Hey, thank you. I'm copying you, sister. <laughs> thank hey, I'm good at copying. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, for the rest of the hat, um, I'm going to kind of give myself some guide markers here and here. This okay. is where the light, when the light hits the hat, this is shaded because this is curved up, right? So this is going to be darker, obviously. Um, you kind of start to pay attention to all the little details. This part right here is where the light hits over, where this is casting a shadow. So we're going to lighten that up. So. It does not have to be perfect. This part doesn't even have to be perfect. I'm going to start at the edge and just draw a line here. And that's where I'm going to put some light in. And from here, I'm going to go maybe about halfway and bring it down. And those are just, again, your guides for doing it. And that's it. The sketch part of the, the stuff is done. If you want to paint or erase or, you know, do whatever you want with this background here, you can do that. Okay. I don't know how well Gesso erases. I don't really work with Gesso that much, but Katie recently got me hooked on clear Gesso. Isn't it great? Oh, it's I amazing. love it so much. Yes. <laughs> uh, amazing. I don't know what I've done my whole life without it. <laughs> it's silly how much different it, it makes your surface. It's just, it's just it's like it's, funny because you never stop learning from each other. Like I'm constantly learning from the both of you and it's just, it's amazing. Thank you. And us, you, for sure. Oh, 
I'm trying. I'm How trying. does Diana keep that picture on your phone? Katie Bakuber is asking. <laughs> do you have it like on a screen lock or do you just keep touching your screen? Oh, no. It's it's a t it's honestly a tablet that doesn't even have connect. I've had this for like seven, eight years now. <laughs> um, and it's just it's just up. I don't know. It's I don't know. Oh, it's like a picture you you put on there. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I'm just okay. looking at it on the tablet so that I have a reference picture because I have my phone up here so that I can, you know, stream it. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's like a really right good old, old Samsung tablet. <laughs> I've had that <laughs> forever. Don't knock it. It's all good, man. They all work. Yes. <laughs> I think. It works perfect for stuff like this because I connect it to the Wi-Fi and I just get, you know. Okay, so my big advice with painting with acrylic is always have dry brushes around. Um, again, I'm going to sound like a, a robot repeating the same stuff on over and over again, but that's just for those who have not watched any type of tutorials I've done before. Always keep dry brushes around. I use like the cheapest brushes I can. Look, it's like peeling and I'm just, I'm, I'm ghetto like that. I don't know. Um, Keep dry we like ghetto. on hand. You, you got it. I said we like ghetto. <laughs> We're the OGs know here. The right word to use. Okay. <laughs> We're the regular breed, the OGs. We're the O ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start off with just a brush to kind of lay my paint down. Let's do one side of it first. Let's do the dark sides. Oh my God, Wanda, I completely saved the wrong photo. I, I saved the dark one and you have the light one. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Do you want okay. <laughs> Let me see if I can put the light one in the picture. Do you I'm not saying we have to paint by the light one, but the dark one is so hard to see on a photocopy. No, no, so. you're fine. You're fine. Um, yeah, it's okay. I'll just I'm actually gonna switch to this brush. Okay, it's like a flathead brush. Kind of flat head, like a straight, I didn't, straight across. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I can do that. I think I got one of those. Close and enough. I have a, very, a, a bigger area to work with, so if you feel comfortable using a different brush, that's okay too. And I'm gonna have to remember to constantly be plate because I don't have room here, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to remember <laughs> to constantly be placing the the palette here so that I can get you guys to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going right. to mix some of that green with some dark brown. And I'm going to use generalized colors because I know that not everybody has the same colors that I do. Until you get like a mossy green. And let's just go in and paint this side. And I don't have dark brown, so I took just a smidge of black and then oh, light yes. brown and green. I might just add some black in too. Yeah, look at the difference that made. Just fill it in. Nothing too crazy. Remember, we're just putting down the base of it. So tonight I'm just teaching some basic like blending and then we'll get to like all the fun stuff like that Wanda does, like the embellishment and the foils. And I'm hoping that y'all don't judge me too hard because I'm definitely not a pro at foiling. Hey, no judging, man. <laughs> it's definitely Wanda. It's all you, baby boo. I'm going to use a thinner brush here to go in uh, on the side here. The... Um, phone holder is causing a shadow on my thing and I'm like can you guys see uh -oh. yeah I know on mine too it's always that's a problem the only way I found around it is to turn your flash on but that drains battery and makes my phone hot but that's oh, the only yeah. way around that shadow yeah that's okay so on this side they're using black and a thin brush or is that the oh, dark sorry. I was still? trying to straighten it out because my, my brush was too fat to make like a straight line so Oh. <laughs> but I am oh. using just a flathead brush to just put my color down. It's nothing too crazy. Okay. I'm probably going to end up going in with a second coat to make it darker once this one dries. My color is all uneven. And that's okay because this part is dark on the hat anyway. 
See how the paint is picking up because it's too wet. I'm just going to wait for that to dry. I'm going to look at the comments. I got a Beck says we love you, Diana. I feel like I'm at a concert. Thank you, guys. Oh, yay. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. Are you going to sing for us? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know that like, little, that's little mermaid one of that me on the spot. where Scuttle is like, ah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not going to sing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw Katie in the comments, too. Early yes. on. I, I haven't been able to look up too often here, but. Hello. Hey, Allison. I see you too. And Lori and Jen. Hey, everyone. Hello. So we're going to mix the same color again? Yeah, I was just making more because I ran out. So Me I'm too? still using the same color, okay? Okay. And I'm just going in with the second coat. It's, you know, it's not as dark as black. It's just a very dark olive green. For some reason, my paint keeps getting picked up. I think my brush is too wet. So there's a learning moment for you guys. If you're trying to paint and you are seeing that, okay, the brush is taking up the paint that you just put down, it's probably because you have too much water on your brush. Well, it's happening to me too. I don't even, I haven't even put my brush in water yet. So, hmm. Wanda. What? <laughs> that just means that... I don't know. So that Maybe means I that means I have like too much paint probably on my brush. That might be it too. Or 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 the bottom layer is not dry completely. I gotcha. True. We're okay, all scientific. Well, I'm quit it's touching it. This. <laughs> We're sciencing it right now. We're all, all right. Okay, so the green paint is way wetter than the white or than the black paint, and the brown paint is browner. No, I'm kidding. Just ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> the, it does look uh, black on our screen, huh? Yeah, it does. I don't know how to fix that. I don't either, but it's not black on mine. It's green on my rock, like green, green, like yeah. a total and army it's green. Like a moss, moss green. Oh, maybe on my skin. Mm. No, it looks black there too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not black, guys. Oh, I see it green. Yeah. It depends on what you're looking through, too, because up on YouTube, it's way more better than on the phone. The phone makes it look really crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. What's right, so the red you put down in the palette? The red I put down on the palette. Are you talking to me? Because I put a red down because I didn't have that. So... My red is called flamenco, and that was in place of your, is that the umber or the? The burnt sienna. That's burnt actually sienna. a perfect substitution. Thank you, flamenco red. Flamenco. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go in with this nasty artificial green, <laughs> and I'm actually going <laughs> to use it straight on. So I'm going to stop about halfway here, and I'm just going to dab that bad boy on. Oh, I hate this green. You know what? I might add a little bit of that red. The burnt sienna. It's like a red-brown. Just a little bit. Not too crazy. It's just so that it gives you kind of like a, a different hue so that it's not just like Christmas tree green. I see this. Yes, I need... <laughs> I don't know why I hate this green so much. I'm very, very biased against it. But I have a full bottle, so I got to use it up. <laughs> <laughs> no paint left behind. Just trying to get rid of my brush strokes. It's actually a lot harder to paint on a wooden canvas because the 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 grain of the wood is getting every brush stroke that I put down. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the pain. I want my Santorini salt. I actually, uh, I just got an order shipped today. So yay. yay, yay. yay. So I'm stopping about here and 
I'm going to go in. I haven't rinsed my brush off. I still have the same color on there because I'm going to start to blend the bottom portion of this with that dark mossy green we just used. Ah, I ran out of that. We got to Yeah, I'm going to have to make some more. So a lot of color mixing here. And don't even think about it. If Bob Ross can paint masterpieces in 30 minutes, we can do this hot. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, we, we can. can dang that. it. <laughs> okay. So now that I'm getting up here, you can see... Obviously, there's two tones, and this is where I'm going to stop and rinse my brush in my water. Just regular water is what I use. I don't know what you guys use, but my paint is still wet. I'm going to add I use iced some tea. You I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> she likes to paint with the elements. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my phone says I need to rotate. What? All of a sudden, it's like rotate device. <laughs> Why <laughs> is messing with me? Okay, it's trying to bully you into getting a different right? angle. <laughs> so I just added in the green because my paint is still wet. Both of these are very, very wet right here. I'm gonna wait for them to dry just a smidge, and I'm gonna grab a dry brush which just means there's no water, there's no paint on it. It's just completely empty, dry, probably some glitter in it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there is always glitter on my brushes, thanks to Wanda. Um, shame on Wanda. Shame Katie, on Wanda. It's Katie's fault, because I didn't like glitter. Oh, so Katie is the one that's to... Thanks well, for... okay, let me tell you, I loved glitter, but I can't stand it everywhere, okay? So that's what made me want to make glitter paint so that the glitter was contained and loose glitter wasn't everywhere. <laughs> so I made the paint for myself, but then you guys loved it so much, so now I make it for everybody, and guess what? Glitter's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so you Do you hear that feedback? <laughs> In your drains? Yes. Yeah. Hi, okay, Joe so we're doing Hi, a, kids. We're doing a tap, tap, tap thing. Yes, sorry. Um, no, it's okay. I was so I went tap. in with that green, and then I, while it was still wet with the brown, I grabbed a dry brush, and I'm not tapping sideways. I'm not tapping. I'm not brushing it down. I'm just, it's kind of a fluffy brush, and I'm just tapping directly from the top until I get a nice blend. And if you notice yourself, okay, this is... Um, becoming do too dark or you don't like the color blend that you're doing put that brush away step away from it you're it's on timeout we can grab a, another dry brush we're gonna bring out all the brushes today <laughs> <laughs> grab some of the light the light the lighter color that you used up here and then just tap in until you are happy with your blend. I'm just going to, you're going to see me with like a thousand brushes and they're all going to probably be chewed on. Oh my God. I really hate painting on this wooden canvas. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I didn't think I was going to hate it that much. It's such a different medium. It's okay. It's a good challenge. It's just not going to be as smooth a finish <laughs> as a rock. Just tap, 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 tap. Kathy, if you're watching, you should be proud. Kathy's always telling me about, about how much I say uh, tap, tap, tap. Oh, you see, it's picking up the, the darn paint. Mine is drying so dark. Like my lighter color down here is keeps going so dark when it dries. Ugh. I'm about to drown this rock with color, guys. Sorry. And you can see my no, it's not your fault. Don't even, don't even apologize, Wanda. I'm gonna put a bit of light. I completely look at that. I'm gonna let that dry before I go. I go in and I get crazy. Y'all can learn about <laughs> my mistakes today. 
Look at that. Oh, you know, sometimes acrylic will slide around on gesso just a bit. So yes. it could be the gesso coat. I'm not used to working with gesso and I'm not used to working on board. Yeah, board. <laughs> That's okay. Is this, it's real dark on my rock, but is that, should I put like white in here to make it even lighter or should I go? I think it looks beautiful. I can see the green very contrasted from the dark. Okay. Um, but if you wanted to put a little bit of white, uh, I would just be a little, I, I would put a little bit of yellow in it. Okay. Because if you put just white, it's going to turn it into like a. A lot of mint green. Yes. Like that versus like if you add a little bit of yellow into it, it will be a little bit more bearable. See, so that's like white with green, yeah. and that's yellow with a little bit of white and green. Love it. Okay. I might just do that, actually, to save my little my little hole over here. <laughs> Terrible. It's okay. We're going to cover this up with embellishments. <laughs> yes, we are. That's yeah, this blend... Probably doesn't even have to be like all perfect because I think I got some foil in my future. So, <laughs> yes, me too. Just a quick little lesson. Oh, um, thank you. I'm excited about it because this is my, I really, really am terrible with blending <laughs> acrylic. It's okay. I think we're all terrible at something and you are not terrible. I don't think at that. Thank you. Is anybody painting along tonight? Oh, good question. I would love, 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 love if somebody, if anybody is painting tonight with us, Wanda, if it's okay with you, mm -hmm. can I do a magnet giveaway? Heck yeah. Yeah. If you guys Just, are painting. I want to make a little this. disclaimer. Okay. <laughs> that on live, we don't have um, any control over when or what comments we see first so whatever diana says like who's the winner that's the winner no emails no arguing no none of it whatever she says goes okay love you guys <laughs> <laughs> okay so let me make this uh as simple as i can if you are painting along tonight with this image that me and wanda are doing and also disclaimer, I'm sorry, I don't have the international shipping and I'm in the middle of a move, so I don't have time to go get an international stamp. U.S. only. I'm sorry for all my Canada people. If you guys are painting along with this, this image and you are in her group, Craft, post your image by midnight tonight and I will choose a winner. Midnight, which time zone? Um, honestly, by the time that it's men, I, as long as it's posted today, like I'm okay. I think that the comment will show if it's posted the next day, you know okay. what I mean? Okay. Since everybody's yeah. in different time zones, as long as it's posted today. Okay. Let's do I got that. you. If anybody okay. paints, <laughs> cause I don't, I don't even know if people <laughs> are painting this one. That is so cool. A Diana magnet. That is amazing. You guys That's Diana original artwork on a magnet, correct? Well, I don't know about original, but painted by me, yes. <laughs> well, that's yes. Okay, an original Diana. Like it's it's a Diana. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nothing I do is somewhere. original girl. <laughs> <laughs> painted by me, yes. And it's just a little <laughs> magnet, just something to say thank you for taking the time to actually paint with us while online. Oh, I love it. That's so cool. Thank you. Anything for the Wandas? Oh. All right. So now that we're done here, wait, are you done with it? I don't know. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to because I'm having the same trouble. Every the more I go at it, the paint's coming off. So <laughs> I'm I, it's not the greatest blend job there, but I do see some yeah. So we're gonna go with that. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> gorgeous. Done. I think Thank it's you. beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Um, let me see. So we're going to bring this color 
that we did up here, down here to this area. Just lather it on. And this is the darker one? Oh my God, I legit just, just put down some brown. I'm just going to mix it on the thing. <laughs> it's all good. I, I messed up and I, I put it. green. Green and brown. Okay, that's okay. I, I ended up doing my darker color first. <laughs> yeah. Let me do this. Get more green onto my palette. There we go. There we go. If you wanna, if you did what I did and you your rock looks too uh, dark, just add in a little bit of yellow, lighten it up, and we're gonna paint this little section here. Oh, I'm trying to go as as quick as I can so I don't hold this part of it up too much. Yeah, I just got some new magnets in, so I'm like, ooh, let's do some prizes. I love that. But wait, there's more. Let's go over here to this side <laughs> before we lose that paint. Uh, oh, sorry. That was a snort. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh no, <laughs> that's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> a Wanda, a classic. You guys were here to witness the classic Wanda snort. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the dark on this side is like kind of in this area, right? Yes. Okay. That's going to be the dark area. And we're going to just do the same technique. So if you guys want to jump ahead, the same we're using the same colors and that's why I love mixing on the wet palette because it keeps your colors uh wet <laughs> I can tell already I'm gonna have to get one of these dang wet palettes because I keep mine's drying in between and so I'm having to make new color every few minutes yes if you guys don't have a wet palette I will always preach about them they are the best investment that I have made as an artist because it not only saves me paint, it saves me my neon gouaches. It keeps my paint wet for, honestly, like up to two weeks. It's just a oh, sponge wow. underneath here that's wet. It's got, that's uh, like orange. And this is paint that has seeped through. <laughs> and uh, it's got like this special little paper that goes on top. And it comes with a lid. And you just close the lid in and it's, it's good to go. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yes best investment I've made as an artist. I have tried two different types. Um, I'm not sure what the name of this one is. Honestly, it's on Amazon and it's two tiered. And um, I've tried the, the Masterson one. They're both the same thing. Just one is more expensive and the other one has two tiers. Okay. So we're just going to do the same technique. Fill in some dark here and some dark here. And you can grab that dry brush and kind of dab it in. Not not too crazy, though, because it's just a shadow. So Katie was over there working all day, huh? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Lots and lots of orders. So she, was, she worked her buns off. Yes, for sure. Thank I you, Miss Katie. Cannot wait till you guys show off some new stuff, man. And oh, I'm yeah. not going to say it. I'm not <laughs> going to say it. I'm yeah, worst. we do got some, we got some fun stuff. Yes. You guys are going to die. So I'm just putting in my paint. And I'm going to grab another dry brush. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what kind. It just It's just a brush that's dry. And just going to tap in those lines so that you don't have harsh lines. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Work. 
Did you guys see uh, Wanda's hummingbird, though, that she did on the last live that I did in Shelly's group? Oh, my God. I am so proud of that hummingbird. I have yet to put it in <laughs> in for sale because I'm like, I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> it's a it's very so cool. gorgeous rock. Thank you. Thank you. That means and I'm, it's I'm proud of you for going back to acrylic, even if just for a short period of time. Oh my God. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm loving it quite a lot, actually. And it's really make it's inspiring some creative juices to make, you know, I want to, I'm really contemplating making a line of acrylic for the foiling rock lady. Oof. Well, Wanda, I guess I'm just going to have to move. And be a worker for you to pay off my, my You're Wanda Bill. <laughs> no. Because I cannot. I it's, can't. Let I me tell you piece. something. Making an acrylic paint is, it's a lot harder than watercolor because there are some amazing acrylic paints out there. You know, it's like, and I'm not saying I would make anything better, but I would at least want it to be a quality product, you know? So I yes. have a lot of work to do before I just go, hey, guess what? We got some acrylic paint. <laughs> oh, <Yes>. you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I would not so. even know where to begin with that. Oh, yeah. Uh, nose in the books. Honestly, it's a lot of homework, a lot of sciencing, even sometimes a microscope or two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It gets very technical. <laughs> well, that's what we got you for. That's why we pay the pros. <laughs> oh no. That's like I'm like, what is in this paint? If it's not working for me, I'm like, okay, Austin, my son, get out your little thing. What's in this paint? <laughs> what uh, is it? He's over there doing the research. <laughs> yeah. I'm just adding in a dark little shadow crease to give it a little bit of movement down here. And it's just like a little ghost shape with just a little bit of black and just tapping it in. Nothing too crazy. I might add a little bit of a that yellow and green and white mix here. Let me just mix it up. Kind of like that? Like a... Yeah, yeah. To give it a little bit of, um, I guess, guess like a different perception, so that the hat's not. Just oh, flat. I see what we're doing. Okay, so it's like the this dark wavy spot right here. Yes. Exactly. So we've done this. This see this one I missed though. This whole area right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Have we done that part yet? This one, this dark spot. Yes. Yeah, you did. Okay. Boy, boy, I better catch up here. No, it's okay. I'm I'm trying to wait for it to dry. I'm just impatient. It's still wet and I keep trying to blend it when it's wet and it's just not it's not working for me. But I will say I might want to um start thinking about what color I want to do the background cuz I always put a background on my rocks. You guys don't have to, but I do like to bling it after out. After the la after the hummingbird, I want to I'm like I can't wait for the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hmm, what are we gonna what are we gonna blend out there? Beck says she's trying to eat a sloppy dough and paint. Girl, you're gonna have some brown all over your <laughs> She's gonna have slop sloppy dough in her in her uh, artwork. We're gonna be like, what is that little chunky meatball right there? Instead of the little <laughs> swishy thing, it's gonna be like little pieces of meat. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness that's funny Katie says she needs to be in a basement to paint she needs to be in a mm. dark secluded area I like, love it I need a basement <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> except for that would mean stairs and I'm like oh my god kill me the stairs no <laughs> man we have a two story house and We've had, I'm, that's pretty much all we, we've known. And I am so sick of it. I hate, hate stairs. You know, yes. we used, when we were younger, we did stairs a lot. And I'm, what is that noise? Can you guys hear that? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Is it feedback? I think so. Yeah. I just don't know where it's coming from. It's, hmm. it's on my end, I think, because every time I talk, I hear it. That is I weird. got all my volumes down. Yeah. It's all good. It's just me being ridiculous. <laughs> That's okay. Enough of your antics, Wanda. <laughs> I know, right? Ah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay. I forgot we need to put the little crown down here. The little Hey, I'm glad you forgot because mine is like way not nice. <laughs> <laughs> I need yes, to focus on the little crown. Dude, look oh. at what you just painted. Like, look at it. <laughs> what, what? And that blending is impeccable. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me grab some of this. Uh, what is this? It's raw sienna. I'm going to grab the raw sienna. And I'm going to grab a little bit of um, green. And just a smidge of white. To make kind of like a nice, pretty, like olive Oops, I got the wrong color. Sort of, sort of olivey green. And that's the color that I'm going to use to do this portion down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And it curves up, so let's just go for it. I'm still mixing my paint. Sorry. <laughs> no, mix away. Mix away. Okay. I have not rinsed my brush. I'm just going to lightly dip the tip. And I'm using a... Oh, my God. This doesn't even have a number. I'm not sure what this brush is. It's just, like, skinny. And I'm an artist, and I don't know what these brushes are called. Um, it's just some black on the tip of this little skinny one. I'm kind of just... Adding a little bit of black down here at the bottom. It doesn't have to be straight. This is a raggedy old hat. It's got some character. It's done, you know, it's gone to cosplay awards and renaissance fairs. And Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> this hat is so fun. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's lived its best life. And it's tattered Ooh, and nice. worn. And it's got a little bit of character to it. Go hat. I always like to tell stories of like. I'm giving the hat know. my phone number, man. <laughs> Please take me with you. <laughs> take me out of Texas into the fall, autumn, autumn breeze. Oh I think I need a bigger rim though here. Uh, let's see. A bigger brim. 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 Yes, Bex. avocado -y green. That's the word. Aw, Pam said that your hat looks like it's velvet. Mine? Yes. Oh, thank you. I told you. It's crushed velvet, baby. Yes. Ooh, <laughs> future future name. Uh -huh, <laughs> right. For a set. I know you guys have the hollow, the hollow velvet, but Yes. Okay, let me grab this black Kelly here. And we're gonna <laughs> do yeah just tap it I didn't even honestly do too it's not nothing too crazy it's just a little swipe here it's not completely down at the bottom you're not lining this it's kind of just you know little swishes to give it a little bit of character gotcha. I like it and then we're going to go back in and do the same thing up here. Give it a little belt. Oops. I'm going to go about halfway. I'm going to stop, add some of that black, make it a little bit darker, but not as dark as this. 
and start to kind of blend in those two colors by going over each other as I'm placing the color down. And you guys notice I, I tap like this entire portion of my, this is a baby burp rag, by the way, because I got asked that last time, like what mm -hmm. I'm placing under my stuff. I just, I don't, I'm, you know, I don't have a baby anymore. My, my youngest is going to be two in two days. So I oh. use all the old burp <laughs> rags and that's what I use under my paint. And I, I, I'm constantly tapping away excess paint, excess water. It saves the, uh, the need yeah. to use paper towels, anything like that. I love it. Do acrylic like me. I love it. Good girl. Yay. I like recycle. Save the earth, save the turtles. All of the <laughs> For shenanigans. sure. All right. So you did like the shadow like over in here. Yeah. So what I did was I, I went about halfway. I stopped. And then I didn't rinse my brush or anything. I grabbed a tiny bit of black and I went down. I rubbed the black off and then I swooshed this color into it to kind of give it a nice little effect. Okay. Like it. Oh, I really do not like it. This is probably the last time I paint on a wooden board. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well, you know, it's good to know what you like. <laughs> yes. Everybody's going to, you know, have their preferences. I should have done a canvas. Canvas is better than wood. I almost grabbed a canvas. I was telling Katie, should I do a canvas tonight? I should have. I have them because I... Perfect. I know. It's like the perfect shape, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Literally the perfect shape. <laughs> and then the last thing... I'm going to grab an eyeliner brush, fine liner. I'm going to grab some black. And then another trick. I know I've said it a thousand times. If you're dipping it in and you see the little dot, best block. technique to get the thinnest line is to grab it and roll the paint. Grab it and do a twist motion so that you get the finest line that you can. Get the dot off the top of your, your thing and just... Do a down, a uh, downward line underneath the ribbon. Where are we go? Oh, we're do okay. We're doing under here. So this is like a kind of just you know separating this from this. Yeah, and that's it. That's the paint. <laughs> Sweet. Um. Nice. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, I think a really good complementary color would be to do a color like this, like the leaves. But uh -huh. if people want to do the leaves, then it kind of goes against it. Maybe like an ombre going in. Oh, yeah. I like that. I think. That's or we could do embellishments for leaves. Whatever you got, girl. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Do you guys see how I have glitter here? Well, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a right here. Uh -huh. I see I a have, little bit. Yeah. I always have random glitters in my, <laughs> in my brushes. <laughs> You're like, well, this one wasn't meant to be glitter, but it is now. So we got to add more. <laughs> I swear every time, every, every one of my paintings, if you like take a close look, you'll see like a glitter where there should not be. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what I'm going to do for this background. Maybe like a brown. You guys don't have to paint your background, but I, I feel the, like if I don't. I took the background out of my picture so that I could see the hat. <laughs> uh. But it had like a really deep, dark, black, like velvet background. But yes, I love that color. I Yes, love it already. So, okay. <laughs> I think what, I'm going to uh, open that up with a bit of black and then go lighter. Holy moly. Okay, we're just, so this is, whoa. All right. Hold on. Where are you? Was I don't know. I'm in I Texas. Just... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I got some brown. Okay, I just got to deepen up my uh, brown and make it a little red. Um, and put some black in it because mine, I don't have that beautiful color. Give it like a, if you, if and you're having orange. trouble getting a color like that, um, 
let me let me true let me see <laughs> you have red i have red you have the red and the, I, I would just mix the red and the brown honestly okay i got some uh, my red for some reason is going pink to me like this i don't know there's like a pink weirdness to it but um, so if it's going pink add some uh either yellow, yellow. or orange yeah, yellow, probably. Yeah, the yellow. That's where we needed to go. Oh, some yeah. So this. that right there is pretty good. I think. And some yellow. And a smidge, like a little, little tiny, tiny smidge of white. Yep, that was a big smidge. <laughs> I just I know. made my I put way my too much in mine, too. Oh, my gosh. Wow. More yellow. Oh, my gosh. I got to start over. I made, like... Some crazy color. It needs a little bit of orange. Oh, where's my orange? <sighs> Here we go. We're going all okay. color theory tonight. I think I'm gonna see what this does up here. It's a little it's very much darker than that. It's way too dark. But it's still Minus. a good color. Okay. So I need to lighten this up. No, that's pr that, that matches what I already have. What you blended okay. is pretty on point. Okay, cool. Oh, it is. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. like perfect. Okay. I added a little bit of black to it because I was like, oh, it's a little bit too, too light. Whoops. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just add the color you mixed on top of it Ooh. and then blend it okay. in. Okay, that's all good. At least it's a background. Yeah. We're mixing on the rock. I on. do that a lot too because I'm way better at mixing as I go. Yeah, than that's pre mixing. Oh, I can definitely see why I paint on rocks. I love it. Love the smoothness of them. Are you guys ready for Halloween? You know, I, I'm not ready for it, but I'm excited for it. Does, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Like, I have a, you know, I don't know what my son wants to be. Last year, he was a unicorn. It was, <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. I'm I got him a great big, like, body size pajamas unicorn outfit, and he rode around on a fake broomy thingy. It was cute. That's awesome. He's 13 years old and he's six feet tall, you guys. He's like, he's a baby in a man's body. <laughs> <laughs> I got to remember that he's just a, a baby sometimes, you know? I'm just like, what? Yeah. Oh, man. My kids are still being forced into doing a family, <laughs> family get up. <laughs> We do a family theme every year. And I think last year was the first year we did it because my husband was deployed. And um, it was, it was, yeah, it was sad to not see us all dressed the same, you know? Oh, yeah. So this year, we're going all out. <laughs> Yay. I'm going in with that uh, caramel, honey. What is this? Raw sienna? Raw sienna. And then I'm going to end up doing the same technique we did here, over here. So I only stopped about, you know, a little bit in, and we're going to blend it out. I don't have that color, but I'm just going to do no, a little like, bit. No, it's like it's exactly like the one that you mixed. It is I know. So good. But I, I mean, I lost that color, so we're just going <laughs> to. But the color you're using is really good, Wanda. Thank you. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at blending around things like, you know, this. I could do this. I could do this. I know. And I know that this is not everybody's like preferred method too, because I know that a lot of people like to do the background first and then paint on top. So it's just a well, different. I don't like. I don't like to do that either. I don't know if you've seen most of my stuff, but it's got no background. I so do I'm, notice I'm, that. 
I'm, but I'm working on it. Okay, it's the thing. I'm working on it. Your stuff is gorgeous. It doesn't need a background. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, but yeah, I know because I I have a Wanda piece sitting Aww. here in my house. <laughs> Yay! A Wanda That's and fair. a Katie piece. That is an honor. Thank you. It was like your birthday um, a while ago, and I had asked, I was like, I kind of want to paint Wanda something, but like, I don't know what to paint her. Like, I want to paint her like a, a birthday rock, and then I just <laughs> I I have a Diana piece. You did a what? I said, I have a couple Diana pieces here. <laughs> yes. Well, you need like a, like a four Wanda piece. Oh. You know, it must have been a year ago because my birthday is in like two weeks. Is it really? <laughs> it was a year ago. Was it already? I know, right? It's crazy, huh? How oh, time flies. Did anybody hear that? It's Wanda's birthday in two weeks. Oh, whoops. Nope. I don't <laughs> have those, those <laughs> birthdays. <laughs> well, well, well. How the turned tables <laughs> if anybody well, everybody a, a else had bag. one you know i figured i might as well no <laughs> but i don't know about this birthday though coming up because you know i'm getting one more and i'm 50 and i'm just not okay with that whole business ma'am you are gonna be 50 <laughs> and fabulous it's the f <laughs> i love it thank you f thank 50s you. Right. We're just blending, blending, blending. I just totally lost my hat here. <laughs> the Ooh. edge. The... Katie says she's saving up to treat you like a queen. Oh my goodness. What in the world are you doing? <laughs> Uh, Katie, you're going to need to send me a little message message on that. I know. I'm like, uh, me too. <laughs> you're me not in. included in this, Wanda. <laughs> Ooh I think, Katie, we're going to do pedicures tomorrow or soon. <gasps> so I'm excited about that. That's not fair. I want to go get a pedicure with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Soon. It's been a long time for me because, you know, I'm allergic to everything. So, I don't know. I'm just getting soap and water. <laughs> I I'm not having... I cannot stand pedicures. I, I don't like th people touching my feet, but I do like manicures. Oh. You know, I I don't know. I I like it. I like... Give me a big brawny man manhandling <laughs> my calves and I am like so happy. <laughs> <laughs> just, just beat them off, okay? Because I love it. It's so good. It's the massage from, yeah. Man, there's this guy in El Paso that just really gives, like, the best massages I have ever had. And his name is Daddy, and he works at the Head to Toe Spa. If y'all are ever Did in you El say Paso, Daddy? Texas. His name's Daddy? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you say Daddy. Danny or Daddy? <laughs> Oh my damn go, Daddy. <laughs> oh my oh, god. What kind of relationship y'all got going there, Daddy? <laughs> you know that that scene in Puss in Boots where she's like Shrek and he's like, For you, baby, I could be. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's gonna be like, yeah, I could be your daddy. <laughs> yeah. No, his name is Danny. He's a very nice a little old man. He doesn't look like he's got a lot of force, but Man, I have never had a massage like the one that he gave me. And it was just, you know, very good. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm a new person. <laughs> well, because I'm very sensitive. And like my husband tries it and I'm like, you're too rough. And he's like, I'm barely touching you. And I'm like, I don't care. It still hurts. <laughs> I'm super sensitive. You know, I, I am too. I haven't had a pedicure in a long time. And my skin hurts now from lupus it's just very painful all my the sensory nerves and everything are always triggering so I don't even like hugs you know it's like it's just 
-hmm. it's kind of a hard thing sometimes, but so I'm hoping that this will not be, you know, <laughs> super scary, but it's going to be good. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys. We need like a, like a Katie and Wanda selfie, like a little ussy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wanda doesn't do pictures. Oh my God. I'm not a picture person. Katie's so cute, though. I'll take one of Katie. <laughs> Man, Katie and her little pigtails. I love her pigtails. <laughs> so adorable. Oh, my God. Let's see the messages. Oh, see, Jen got my joke. Oh, what was the joke? Oh, because I was like, oh, how the, the turn cables. And this an, that's an office reference. <laughs> oh. Allison says she doesn't have eyebrows because she's blonde. Beck says, wow, massage places aren't like that here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, you guys have the happy ending places? Is that what's up? <laughs> oh, my God, no. <laughs> I could never. Okay, my background blend was like a disaster because I am not used to painting on this, but it's going to be the best that I can do for now. Wanda's I on the other hand. I know I can't get mine to blend. I'm just like, I'm spotch, blotching in here. No, you're not. It looks amazing. Like, I wish that you could see it from where I'm seeing it. It looks very witchy. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. You got to believe in yourself. You'd be like, yeah, I'm Wanda. Like, I'm well, Wanda. <laughs> Thank you. I'm getting there. Have I'm sorry, I'm so slow. Lately? Have I what? Have you seen any more scary movies lately now that I know that you're a little addict uh, for scary movies? <laughs> no, I've been, uh, nope, I've been watching, I've been into Manifest, <laughs> the uh, show. <gasps> I love Manifest. So I'm doing season four right now, so I haven't really watched any um, scary stuff, new stuff, you know. Wait, you have so to catch up on some stuff. No, I'm man, I've been trying the last few days to finish season four and I keep falling asleep. So Aww. I know I'm trying though. I'm trying. It'll happen. Man, the ending like threw me completely, but and I was a little bit upset about certain characters. Oh. But it, it I understand. I guess yeah. why it ended the way it did. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> well, you know, I, that was like, a, did you ever see that show Lost? Yes. Oh my God, the ending of that made me so angry. Yes, I know. All that time invested. And it's like, what? <laughs> I know. I'm like, don't you dare do this to me. <laughs> no, this this ending was actually like pretty good. It, it like tied everything together and everybody got a happy ending mostly. And um, yeah, it was, it was a good, it was a good little, that's good little show. I'm still tripping that Grace is gone. I can't get over that, you know? That was last season, and I'm still stuck there. <laughs> well, you better, Yay, finish she comes the, back. <laughs> you better finish that season. <laughs> Woohoo! I can't talk about this no more because I'm going to spoil it for you. Okay, yeah, don't tell. Don't say. Don't say. I'm hoping to finish it tonight, depending on how late I can handle. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna put you well hold on. Let me figure out how to mute this because I'm gonna try to dry this so that I can like do fun stuff with it. Can I mute this? Let me see. Mute microphone. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna use my hair dryer to okay. do my thing. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to blend this part right here. <laughs> the uh the hat and the background here. What do I do? Okay. What would I do if I were Diana? Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> right? Tap, 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 tap.
Okay, I'm back. Hello. It is taking forever to dry, but that's okay. So when I was doing my background, I lost like the edges of my hat. <laughs> Which edge? All of them. <laughs> no, you did good. It, I, I'm looking at it right now. It looks like it has a glow around it. No, I mean like my hard edge, you know, like the lines around my hat. Like I lost my my hat edges. So uh, I'll tell you a I, real easy fix for that. Watercolor. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, watercolor. Watercolor shimmer all around. I would probably use the um either the this one or this one from the boardwalk. This one probably. Ooh, boardwalk. And that way you don't have uh you don't have to worry. Excuse me about harsh lines. I love it. On the board, out on the sun. Diana's <laughs> secret over there. <laughs> me like it. All right, I gotta find a brush. Yeah, Kathleen says that looks good like that. It looks like it is backlit. Oh, thank you. So now do I put this color on the background or on the hat? Um, so what I would do is um, I would just, oh my God. Yeah, I would just go around and then blend it out. Okay. Honestly, the way that I see it is the hard lines. People are not going to notice them because they're going to be so entranced with like the way that you... Mm -hmm. have painted this because it's incredible thank you ain't nobody gonna be looking at your lines girl i like how i can go from like talking regular and then like my my southern like every time <laughs> i go back home eric is like your texas is back <laughs> and I'm like, okay. he's a hey, texas <laughs> I didn't even know I had a Texas, but cool. <laughs> I know I'm from California and I absorbed one. Just, I wasn't, I didn't even live here and I had one because I was married to a Texan. <laughs> it is hard not to catch a Texas accent. It is. I didn't, you, you have one and you don't even realize it. I was like, I don't have a Texas accent. Like what? <laughs> I don't have an accent. But I do. <laughs> it turns out I do. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was totally the wrong color. Oh, my God. <sighs> How did I even get in, into the turquoise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It was turquoise. Yeah, I'm all... Okay, then. <laughs> it was Istanbul turquoise. Oh, and it's Crazy. the best one, too, man. I know. God, I love that color. God, we got 40 people watching this. That's wild to me. You, sister, are the hero. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm not. <laughs> you and Katie, bring it. Bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys are, you guys are amazing. Oh, I know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's like, my watercolors bring all the boys to the yard. No. No, <laughs> uh, no, no. Just all the. No, you're amazing artist. So everybody's very excited when Diana is leading. Stop, you guys, <laughs> including my dang much. self. I'm seriously learning so much that I, I don't even, I can't, I can't even believe I'm painting this. Like, <laughs> you are painting it, and it's not okay. decoupage and it's not trace. You did I know. it. That's the thing. There's no decoupage, no trace, no nothing happening. I made another painting without tracing. Can you guys even believe it? <laughs> But that's the thing is you've been capable the whole time. You are capable of more than you guys think that you are. And that's for everybody. Everybody in here who's constantly like, 
oh, I don't think I could do that. I don't think you can. You can. I promise you, you can. If you just. If can. I can do it, you can do it because I am like the world's biggest tracer. You know that. And if I can do this, you can do it. Every every single thing that is paintable, every type of art, well, maybe except abstract, but even then, it is just you just need to look at it and break it down into shapes. Break it down into your little endpoints. You know, like this is a triangle. I curved the bottom of the triangle. I flatted it out and I swooped it back down. And it's just it's it's very easy. And if you start to break it down. You know, like the hummingbird. Mm. Where you start with the circle for the yes. head, teardrop for the body. You know, it's you gotta you gotta kind of go. Diana I was spoken so, is now the law, Jen says. <laughs> I was so excited about that because I went in. You know, after lives, I usually go in and try to talk to my husband about them, and um, either he's asleep or he's eager to talk. And after the last one, he was like, "Oh my gosh, that was so cool! It was like." A triangle and a circle. <laughs> He's like, you could draw a hummingbird with a triangle and a circle. Who knew? Yes, you can. Oh my God, there's a fly crawling on my forehead. <laughs> Get out of no. here. No. <laughs> I'm just going around my edge with, with the black like you did last time on the hummingbird. I love that effect. So I'm just hitting the, the edges here with it. Yes. And then it's just tapping out also. If you guys start to see that your uh, watercolors, because that's another thing that I get people asking me, is, oh, my watercolors, like, for example, uh, if you're doing it and then it starts to dry a little bit, like, coagulated, it's because you got to wait. Like, you see the breakage right here and right here? Uh -huh. well, yeah. I don't know if you guys can. There's a breakage right here and right here. You got to wait yeah. for it to dry a little bit. And then that same effect that we're using with the paintbrush just mm -hmm. tap 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 it out until it's like a nice even blend it's smooth it's gonna smooth itself out once it's dry you can even use your finger yeah just rub it in get creative with it. don't don't be afraid to get messy with it yeah i did that i put it on like and then let it dry a bit and then i took my it was kind of a damp brush not a dry brush and then mm -hmm. you know tapped around it and it blended it out quite nicely around these edges yeah and you so got to nice remember watercolor so watercolor is reactivatable so the cool thing yeah is you can if you don't like it you don't have to live with it mm -hmm. <laughs> and exactly. acrylic is uh, permanent so you can take that off you know exactly this is why my brushes are so used and abused because i I'm constantly scrubbing and that's, this is exactly also why I use cheap brushes because I go through them like crazy. So are we done pretty much with the acrylic? Yes. Let's get to the fun stuff. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to put mine away then. Aha. This is where so. you're going to take the lead. I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing here. Well, I know you had a black foil picked out. So, yes. what was your plan for that one? Um, let me see if I can find it. Hold on, I just, I just had it. Like, I physically just had it. Oh my god, why am I this way? I need a, I need my own Katie. Okay, <laughs> I need my own Katie <laughs> to tell me where my. I stuff love is. my Katie. <laughs> god. Oh my God, I just had it. I think if I can find it, I got it. It was this one. Yes. This one. Similar. No, that is the one. Haha. <laughs> yeah. So that is like a beautiful foil to just go ahead and bring in whatever i mean what if you could put that on the whole hat it would be so gorgeous mm -hmm. any any kind of pattern you know like a gold filigree any little thing to give you this lacy overlay look you know yes so like here's a gold polka dot you know you could do it with pretty much anything god i love those gold foils 
those are like my favorites probably <laughs> they are pretty dang cool and then you know we have the whole black set of foil here and there are so many different like ones look at the stars i love that and i really mm -hmm. think i want to do some stars oh, those are so cute. <laughs> or the fishnet Mm-hmm. Yeah, the fishnet. Oh, stop. There's too many good choices. I know, right? There's there is so many. And then there's this cool one that has butterflies. That's gorgeous. It almost looks a little batty. Yes. Yes. Very cool. There's so many. I mean, really, the sky's the limit, you guys. Oh yeah, I guess oh, super okay. like creative with it. So I'm going to cut off the chunk here. So these foils are a short set, this black one. So whoever Diana picks for her winner tonight is also going to get this black set of lacy foil. <gasps> Wanda. Yes. And I would. they'll be coming separately. So I'll be sending this from my house. It'll arrive in an envelope. And then Diana's doing her tipping. So thank you. I didn't even ask Diana, but I'm jumping on your bandwagon. <laughs> <laughs> you you get it, girl. You get those giveaway foils. <laughs> yeah, I oh I love this foil, but it's silver. Man, do y'all have your Halloween foils still? I you know what? I just pulled it go. out today. It's so, it's not in the shop, I don't think, but we're going to be putting it back in in the next couple of days. And Katie made some Halloween packs. This one is actually from last year. Um, oh, Jen, thank you. Where's the bell? Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Thank you, Jen. Yoda Le He Who. Thank you. So we have this set from last year that you just pulled that one out. Those are quite cool. It's got like little fun little things in here. Yes, they're so cute. All the little <laughs> skulls. I know. I, I got love this one with like the um the skulls here and then it's got the palms and the, the spiders ones. in the background. Yeah, isn't that cute? I think tropical that'd be kind of cool on the hat, you know? Yes. Like, oh, here's another box. I was like, man, where are the rest of my gold foils? <laughs> I have them everywhere. Oh my god, don't I don't even want to show you what I have. There's also fall leaf foils. Little that. So you could put like fun fall leaves around or like the dried flower foil. Look at that fun, cool mm -hmm. look going up the hat like there with the. Oh, that's the perfect spot. It looks like a little, a pretty little floral branch going up. Yeah. And you can reverse foil these. Oh, I should do that and show you guys how to reverse foil, huh? Please. I yeah, think I will. Super cool. Yeah. Okay. So to reverse foil, you want to cut out the pieces that you want of the foil. So I'm going to cut out. I need to get my little scissors so I can messy cut here. Because you don't want anything um, on the foil that you don't want on your rock, right? I love that butterfly, but I'm going to take it out. Oh, my God. There's too many choices. <laughs> I know. I can't stand it. They're all so good. Jesus. I'm, a, I'm everywhere. 
<laughs> so we're going to do this one here. Like, got to get those tweezers because <laughs> oil is staticky. So this one's going to go off the side of the hat like that. And I think... Yeah, I think I'll do this, whatever this is. I forget what that's called. This yellow. Mm. Like a California poppy. What that is, actually. You guys help me. Should I do the spiders? The cheetah? Is this cheetah or leopard? Or these either. Dirty, I don't know. I don't know which ones. I call it animal print because I don't know. She said it picked up color from my background. Yeah, that's good. I love the messy one. The uh, like uh, the spider. Oh, I forgot the black lace. Hello, the original one that I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The original black lace is really pretty beautiful. So I think we're yeah, going to do Sarah these. Like, those looks like G ginkgo. I can't. Oh I can't yes, talk. yes, they do. They look like ginkgo. Ginkgo biloba. Very good. What is Thank that? <laughs> Ooh, I gotta go plant. that. <laughs> it's a very cool. What is that? Ginkgo is like a a caffeine kind of, mm -hmm. or it gives you like a caffeine a little buzz. Okay, okay. That's kind of crazy looking, but I'm going to show you guys this technique, how to make your own buckles. So a lot of that business will be underneath the buckle. You see that? That's gorgeous. Oh, my God. I need that foil, <laughs> like, right now. I need you to, like, <laughs> FedEx it, like, right this second. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm also get so we're gonna do double foiling and reverse foiling because I'm gonna do a black lace background and then you know this over the top. So la la la. Which black lace do I want? I think I'm gonna go with the original foil you picked out. I just like that. That's good. Yeah, so that's, that's what, what I'm gonna, gonna end up do. doing. So now the question is, do you want it on the whole hat or just like the top and then do something else on the brim, which I I think is always cool. I think like, I'm actually going to do, I have these little uh, rhinestone thingies that I got at, like, I think it was Joanne's. Mm -hmm. um, and I might just do like a little something down here. I don't know. Super I might paint cool. the little thing in with your metallic um, shimmer shots. What do you think? Yeah, that yeah, will be cool. Like Let the filigree or swirly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let me foil it. All right. So let me get my gloves on and then we'll show you guys some of these cool things. All right. Oh, I can't wait to see that double foil. Find a light. I may have to change some batteries. Use this one. Okay. Get the gloves on. Get the glue out. And because this is a not a delicate shape, I am going to use it from the bottle. Except for to get up in the points and stuff, I'll use this brush to spread it. But you generally, I would recommend putting it on a dish or a palette. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start with the black foil all over the top of the hat. So from top to bottom. Yeah. 
And I have some cracks in my rock. So I'm going to fill that a little bit with the glue. And then keep in mind when I'm doing it that I'll need to be careful when I lift from that area because it's going to leave a hole. So I'll have to put it down into the hole, the foil. So it's good to have a soft tool or something that you can do that with, like a burnishing brush or a ball uh, dot, dotting tool with a ball end on it, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, whoops, Ew. I'm gonna have to clean that off. <laughs> All right, if you have a torch, this is the light it up time. Get the fire on there. Keep a good safe distance. You want your torch kind of on medium. Get the um, bubbles out of your glue. Sorry, Buster was lonely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, hit it with your light. Start from about eight to 10 inches up. So if it's going to wrinkle, you'll know right away and you could pull farther away from the rock. Just wait until you see evidence of a little clearing before you get too close. And they're rock, so um, pores are normal in boiling. If you see little tiny dots, that's the pores of the rock. And most of that is covered when you resin at the end, so you don't see that. Oh, man, I need tape. I don't know which uh -oh. side is, is which. Okay, on the foil, oh, I got it. the matte side, let me show you. So this foil's... So if you can see it, the glossy side, yeah, goes toward your face. Oh, my then God. The matte <laughs> side. Okay, if you can't tell, definitely use the tape for sure. No, Way it, 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 it like flew onto the thing before I had a chance to place it. Oh, crap. It's okay. Well, hopefully it's on the right side. <laughs> Let's see. If it's not, it will take up the paint. It was. So. It was. Thank God. Oh, thank God. It's just little spots. It's going to be missing. <laughs> I do that all the time. Don't even feel. I think I did it not too long ago on a live. I was like, well, there it lives. <laughs> it is there now. Yep. Man. So I'm going to put down. Papsies first. It's okay. It's the dark side. Nobody's going to notice. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then the other side. Just make sure when you're placing it not to get the edge anywhere where you want a nice seam because the edge will show. They have a little tiny bit of a non-design on the edges. So you can trim them off. Or um, avoid, you know, <laughs> avoidance is always good. <laughs> okay, if you are foiling and you feel like it's not sticking down, you know, like if it's gooey when you pull up, add your light to it while it's still down. And that'll help to solve that issue. Mm-hmm. Lift slow, lay back down, and burnish in the places that didn't transfer the first time. I saw that flash go up there. Hey, Shay. Thank you. Give me just a second. I'm going to ring some bells for you. Yeah. Thank you. Lay it back down. Burnish in the places 
that didn't lay down, and then you'll get like a really good transfer. Gorgeous. Yours too, darling. Okay, let's ring some bells for Shay. Yay, Shay. Yeah, sister. Woo, 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 woo. Yo, lady. Yo, lady. Who? Thank you, Miss Shay. Okay, double for or sorry, not double foiling. This is double foiling and reverse foiling at the same time. <laughs> so double foil because we already have foiled, and we're going to foil again on top of it. And then reverse foiling because we're going to put the glue on the back of the foil and then put the foil on the rock. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Crazy. <laughs> so this is a delicate procedure. <laughs> and I am not the greatest at it, but. I've done it a few times and I can't even say that I created this. I saw a nail tech do it. So. She's like, just wanted this little tiny design. I'm like, oh, I could do that. <laughs> so I'm going to add the glue to the back of this foil. Because I pretty much want everything that I cut out here. So So you would only put glue on the part that you want, right? Exactly. Oh, man. I suck at foiling. <laughs> I got a crease in there. Uh, it takes, you know, practice. And then when you do it over and over and over, you figure it out. But, yeah, if you don't do it often, mm -hmm. it's... It's hard. It really, I struggle coming back to, because I go long periods of time without foiling. I'm sure you guys have noticed. <laughs> You're all the foiling rock ladies not foiling anything. What's going on? Well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's hard to stay creative. Okay, so then place it. Be careful when you're doing this part because it is wet. And wherever it lays down, that glue is going to be there. Sorry, I'm looking for a second pair of tweezers because... I need more control. <laughs> so, okay. So I pretty much want this like that. Okay. And then you hit it with, um, you don't want to mush it too much because the glue will come squishing out from underneath it, but just kind of push out a little bit of the bubbles. Then hit it with your light. This is also a good technique for fussy foil. <laughs> if you have a foil that doesn't want to transfer, you can make it transfer by doing it this way. Okay, so not too terrible, but it could use some work. You know, it looks good. And you can take a little black paint and just mm -hmm. kind of dot it up in between the two lines to blend them together. It's to or take a little pen, you know, and connect the filigree. Yes. There are so many tricks to making it work. It doesn't even have to be perfect anyways. Or you could just take a line of like gold paint and make it like a seam and then put like some rhinestones up it and make it like it was supposed to be like that. I think I might just do a shimmer shot. Yeah. I'm going to take some alcohol and clean up my tweezers because they have wet foil or wet, yeah, foil glue on them. And I don't want to mess up the foil when I pull it off. <laughs> so back and forth and back and forth. Okay. So it takes a bit of maneuvering to get this foil, the plastic carrier sheet up when you're doing this. So you gotta kinda grab it and gently pull. Come on. This one wants to bring up my paint. Okay, there we go. Phew. 
got scared for a second. Same thing. Bring it up slow so if somewhere didn't transfer, you can put it back down and press it in. Yay! That looks amazing. Oh, get off me. So a little piece stayed on up here. So I got to figure out how to get this off this plastic. I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world if it totally didn't come off because you can literally just resin over it. But I don't want that on there. So, so there's that going off there. Now, remember, it's going to have an embellishment on it here. So that business won't even show down there. All right, so we're going to do the ginkgo on the other side. And let's see. It's easy if you leave yourself a little tab to hang on to while you're doing that. See that little tab there? That little mm -hmm. tiny corner. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to add some stuff. I'm going to go a little crazy here. I'm just grabbing some black acrylic because I really want to add some swirls, some gold swirls on top of this. Do it. And you're like, Diana, there's already black there. Well, no, do wait. it. If you see it happening, girl, you do it. I'm going to hit this with my light just for a second. So it'll get just a tad sticky. <laughs> and then I'm going to turn it over. This is the part where everybody takes off and does their own creativity. I love yeah. it. There we go. Phew. Sweating. <laughs> I love that. It's so fall. Man, it makes me so mad that I don't have any stuff like that. You always make me uh, get more. <laughs> hmm, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimatum. No. <laughs> Ulterior motives. I'm about to uh, try to find a floral something like that. I have you got some um, foils. Do you have any of the stickers like the like these? I have stickers, but they're those not totally the color. Work. They're not the right like, color. See these green ones? Like they totally will work. I think I might actually stick one of those in there. <laughs> like to add a little bit of, you know, a something, something. The only stickers I have are like the ones that you guys send like, in the but this yes, is not the those. right color. Oh my god, that's awesome. Cut it. Just use a little tiny piece of it. You know? Whatever. Just a pop of color. That's beautiful, actually. I think it would work. <laughs> but I'm crazy, so. Maybe. Maybe some blue with some... Oh, man. Is it stuck? <laughs> Is it stuck? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, oh, black oh. It. oh, no. It dropped and your paint was dirt wet. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. It's not your fault. That's okay. We'll just go back in. And scrub it out. Oh my gosh, get off of this. This is the hardest part of the reverse foiling is <laughs> getting getting it back off the the um carrier sheet. Give it to me. Oh dirty dog. Come on. Uh, I don't know if this goes with it. Maybe I'll paint the flowers a different color. I do like it, though. I like the holographic in it. Put it this way. Yeah. 
See, this, this is, is where you fun. shine because I cannot, I, I'm not creative enough to do stuff like you do. I love it. I love watching you create. Oh my gosh, this is taking my paint. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to do this. Okay, well, we learn. Give it to me. Mm, there we go. Okay. I do have a little boo-boo right there I got to fix, but I might just cover it with like a wispy woo of something, which is easy because we have like wispy woo going everywhere. Where did I put those stickers? See, if you got a boo-boo, you can just cover it up with like something. Oh my God. Look at what I found from the extras that you guys send. <gasps> yes. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe not that one, but I really like that feather. I could I could do something with that feather. Heck, yeah. I'm going to put those there. Even though it didn't cover that particular spot, we're going to put those there. There. I love all the flowers there now. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to foil down here with, which foil? I'm going to do this lace. I love this lace because I think I want to put like some rhinestones in it. Or this one, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. Look at that fun. So I'm going to do it this way, and then I'm going to come. Let me see how I can mesh this one together to make two pieces, or to make one piece out of Man, I don't know if I want to foil that bottom part. Maybe I'll do one of these. It's different. Okay. So I am going to cut off this edge here. So we don't have the scalloping in the middle of this design. We're going to use it like there. See, the scalloping is gone here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add this piece. Uh, yes, like that. And that will give us one piece here. I'm going to set that there for a second and get a piece of tape. My tape got all tangled up here. Dang it. I think we're okay. Okay. So yeah, this will go down like that. And then we'll have one piece there. Okay. Yeah. So then you put your glue down. Hi, everyone. Um, they're asking if you have a glue pen, Diana. I do, actually. It takes an hour for those to dry properly, though. So for live, it might be a long wait. But that's a great idea. Using the glue pen instead. Oh, yeah. Uh, I honestly got to find it. The glue pen to draw, like, filigree and then drop the foil on top of the filigree or glitter. The glue pen is good for so many things, not just foil. You can use it with like 
glitters and uh, you can even use it to glue your paper products. It's amazing glue. It's really sticky. Mm -hmm. I do like, like your rhinestones. You can hit the back of your rhinestones with your glue pen. And uh, yeah, it's pretty sticky stuff. Like I wouldn't use it for your permanent rhinestone adhesion, but if you're putting them on before like your resin or something, then you can hit it with that. Which rhinestones are better not before resin, but. <laughs> Katie's right. The I know. Hold on. Wait, I know I just had it. I just had it. She's talking about the gold, uh, like the floral one. Yes, I just had it in my hand too. Like what? Yes, Why you do. do. I... You I have the one it. that's um, the matte gold, right? The and this is the hollow gold of that same. I have design, that one, but... and I'm so upset that I can't find it. It's like the, when you finally need it, like it's not there. You yeah. know? <laughs> you showed it to us earlier too. I was like, oh, I got to go get that. So I went and found it. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Wanda, I did just, I sent you a picture of it yesterday. What the heck? I literally just had it. Okay. I need a Katie. I need a Katie. <laughs> That's Katie's <laughs> annoyed with myself because I can't I can't function right now. Oh no, I don't be annoyed. <laughs> that that one that you just held up, I don't know where that one is, but I had the other floral one in my hands just now. If you guys could see the absolute catastrophe that is my table right now, you would understand why I am this way. Oh um, I understand catastrophe. I speak it fluently. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I, Katie? All right, I'm going to burnish. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Ding, Yay. Ding, 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 ding. God almighty. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm going to try to wing it because I... I'm not going to spend more time looking for my tape either. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, I don't know what's happening with my foil here tonight, but this is a disaster, this one. <laughs> oh, man, this doesn't match. Okay. <laughs> this is not good. All right, so this is a failed foil all the way around. No! I'm getting... Yeah, it's bad. Look at that. So I'm going to have to remove that. So now you guys get to watch that, how you remove. I am not going to tear up the glue. I'm going to remove the pattern from the foil because I believe that it would tear, it would peel up my red, uh, my acrylic paint if I tried to peel up that. Oh, I think so. I'm having that happen right now. So I am going to take alcohol, rubbing alcohol on a swab and rub gently on top of the glue and it removes the pattern. 
but leaves the glue. So yes, I will have to do another layer of glue, but I'm okay with that. At least it saves my paint job, you know? And I'm gonna change foils because I don't know if that was, I'm also gonna change glue uh, bottles because I think it might be my glue bottle because I was having a bit of trouble up here. Some Your glue goes bad if you don't use it uh, for a while. But, ooh, that looks good. This one? Yeah. I, I love like that. So that's one of my favorite foils. <laughs> yeah, but I messed up and I didn't do it like you, you taught us just now. So now I'm like, oh man, it's going to look all weird. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to do, we're going to get through this. Yes. <laughs> I think it looks good. That's a forgiving foil because it's got space between it. Yes. I just got to connect. Hmm. Okay. I found a way. My son would say, it's all in the maths, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Do your math. Where's the math in it? You know, funny enough, I'm getting better at math just because he's so dang smart at it. It's not like we walk around doing math equations either. I'm just like learning because his homework, you know. He's been in advanced classes for years. So he's like doing high school work in eighth grade. Oh, my God. I know it's exciting. <laughs> like, I'm excited about it. He's like, um, I don't know, Mom. <laughs> That's amazing. It used to be fun when he was younger. He don't like it so much anymore because it's challenging, you know? Yeah. I think he loves the math one. It's the um, English honors and stuff. He's like, no. <laughs> Man, I tried to take advanced classes when I was in high school and um, math is the death of me. So I dropped... Uh, AP calculus my senior year like after the first semester and I was like I'm gonna go to senior math and do the lazy way out <laughs> <laughs> I never even oh god I there's no way I could have been in advanced any of that holy moly I deeply regretted that when I ended up oh no when I ended up majoring in accounting I was like oh, I should have paid more attention right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> she's an accountant oh my god see I, there's just no that would not have even ran across my radar to be an accountant because i am so terrible at math so so utterly terrible and spelling i'm i am the world i'm sure y'all have noticed on my listings and i think it's right i'm like i don't need to check that it's good <laughs> it's so wrong <laughs> katie and Lori are like twitching <laughs> <laughs> they're like don't you ever use spell checker i'm like no. oh why would i do that <laughs> so i'm doing a second coat i didn't say it i'm doing a second coat of glue here right on top of the other one Ooh, I am hot. I didn't it's say it either, so but I'm using shimmer shots. So hot in my house. Drink break. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. Okay. Here we go. Light camera. Oh, I forgot the torch. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm going to have a problem here. I can tell already. We got a bubble. Helen is going. Oh, are people are going to sleep. What time is it? Oh, my God. It's probably late. This is a long one. I don't even know. We're two hours in, so it's got to be 9.30. 
Mm, that's eight thirty for me. That's good. I'm yeah, we're doing we can good. Go five hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Man, my my youngest did not take a nap today, so we are really good because he is probably knocked yeah. out right now. That <laughs> poor baby. <laughs> You're like, sorry, husband, have fun. <laughs> I know. Oh, I kind of want to cut this little this little tidbit off. Do you think I could do that with scissors? Oh, my God. Ooh. I'm going to do polka dot. Or no, stars. Yeah, let's do stars. All right, I got to, so I'm going to swing over here and cut off the edges of this foil because I don't want that, like, clear border. Okay. Do you guys think with the leaf or without? What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm feeling it, but I'm also not feeling it at the same time. It's very like Peter Pan. Hmm. With the leaf or without? Um, yeah. With the leaf or without? Well, I like it with it, but it is Peter Pan. So it depends on do you want that Peter Pan look or? No. Oh my God, Wanda, we totally forgot to do the little the thingy. The feather, the fe whatever those wishy It's like whiskey. a. Oh, hold on. Wishy my tablet I died. I think they're supposed to be like feathers or something, but <laughs> it's just sure a little those... swirl. Honestly, you could even just do it with some black paint to make yeah. it probably ruin it. It's okay. It's okay. God, this thing takes so long to dry. I don't know if this is going to work either. It's kind of acting weird. Dang. I forgot to change the glue. I'm all, I'm going to change the glue. And then I just went and used the same dang glue. <laughs> oh, please. I think it's the glue. Y'all are getting a full trial and error here, and I love it. <laughs> okay. Just got to do some extra careful curing and manipulating. Little bits at a time. I do have a very delicate spot right here in the glue because there's a bubble underneath it. And the paint wanted to come up. Hmm. So we'll be painting over some of these <laughs> areas. Okay. Now lift slow. And then lay it back down. And then be very gentle if you know you've got a problem spot coming up. Just lift very gently. And then lay back down. Lift gently. Oh my gosh. Please leave it. Okay. I'm just going to take that one off. I just went over my green with the green from the Crystal Labyrinth. Ooh. Gorgeous. I'm going to go blow dry this because it's taking too long. I'll be right back. Let me just make okay. this. I'm grabbing the section that still has foil on it and pressing down on those bubble spots, trying to push them back in. 
Well, I think that's a save, but good night, Amy. We do have this little spot here. I might put something over that. Yeah, not so awful, but not so perfect either. Okay. So now... I think I'm going to grab my pink palette, the acrylic that we were using a bit ago, and do a little touch-up of a boo-boo or two. And before I, I don't, I didn't explain what I was doing, but since there's foil down here, I painted what I wanted to design with matte black paint so that the acrylic, I mean, so that the acrylic, so that the watercolors, well, not really, I guess watercolors, they're shimmer shots. Um, so that the water, sh ah, shimmer shots have something to grip <laughs> on. Because if you apply it directly to the foil, it's going to get all watery and all crazy. That's a good tip. I feel like I want to do more to it. Like, I just want to deck it out with, like, all of the cool. I just ordered some of those nail um, stickers that you have in the shop. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I love so those. Excited. Those little bitty baby ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now let me show you guys how to make the buckle. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I did post a video in the group of me doing this first buckle. It took about six minutes for the video. So just so you know. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and go through the whole, whole bit of doing it so that we... Are good. So I'm going to say I, I kind of printed out a copy of how big I thought this was going to be, but mine's like in between, but I'm okay with this size. So what we're going to do is you need to have a clear, if you want to use, you can do it freehand if you're good enough for that, but I'm, I'm not quite there yet. You know, I'm getting better, obviously. Thank you. But I'm not there yet. So this is actually a clear silicone mat on top of my pink one so I'm going to put my drawing up under that what I'm going to work on here I'm going to take some alcohol clean it off really good clean off the silicone oh Katie I know they're just they're upstairs Okay, scoot in here so you guys can see. So builder gel is what I'm going to be working with. And this is our, what we're doing. It's not going to look exactly like this, but this is kind of what we're using for our guide, okay? You can also use things like this if you have, you know, a pen. this was a pendant and I clipped off the little circle part there. But you can use whatever you want for your buckle. You know, look how cute that is. I mean, whatever. Oh, and, and then I just made a weird looking star with this one. I just blobbed it out. So you could totally put a pearl or a rhinestone in the middle and use that too. So let me show you how I did it. I used a product called Builder Gel or UV Gel. And I do carry this. It is... A custom listing so if you want it you tell me and I'll send you a link 
get a disposable eyeliner brush and grab a blop, <laughs> a bloopity blop of your stuff like that. Stick it right in the middle. Just swirl it out into a big circle. You want to kind of do it to the edges of where you want to start pulling your design out, okay? Okay. So then, you just pull to the direction you want your points and then start building your design. And if you want it pointier, you just, it's pressure with your brush. So you push down for fatter, pull up for pointy. Down for fat, up for pointy. Less pressure, and then pull out. So we're basically drawing on the mat, right? On the silicone mat. And I am not really trying to make it look like the thing underneath it. I'm just using that as kind of a guide. Oh, well, now you make me want to do build your gel. Damn it. <laughs> Here <I> Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. She's falling down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Oops, that was a very long tentacle there. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have some random design. <laughs> I'm just going to try to make my center part kind of even here and then pull this out, make it a little longer to match the other side. And then it will, your builder gel will shrink up a bit if you don't hurry. So if you want to redo your tips, the points and stuff, right before you put it in the light that's a good idea okay so now i'm going to grab my big light builder gel requires a stronger light so i'm going to grab my big light put it over the design make sure your uv gel is out of the way and then turn your light on then find my big electricity hang on just a second all right so we're going to turn that on it's going to take a couple of minutes, so let's let that work. While it's working, I'll talk to you about the chrome powder. So we do have a listing for the chrome powders now. It's They're all five in the same listing. It's called pressed chrome powder, I believe, is the listing. Anyways, this is the holographic quad. The gold, silver, pink, and green. I know I don't have them clearly listed in there because I was trying to get it in there so you guys could use it if you wanted these. So these are holographic. And these are chrome. So you got a copper, gold, bronze, and 
pewter, kind of. <laughs> um, these are chrome. Beautiful. These are like a spring. But I love this blue down here. Oh, my gosh. So green, purple, pink, and turquoise. And then this is a patriotic set. Red, silver, blue, and gold. And this is very gorgeous, too. you got a light aqua, gold, silver, and like a blush champagne color. So I think on this one, since I did the holographic gold on my first one, that's the hollow gold. Yeah. I'm going to use the chrome set. Yeah, I'm going to use this set. Still gooey. I'm going to go 30 more seconds. Sorry, it takes a minute. So when you are done curing it, it has a sticky layer. And you want to remove that with alcohol. So you take the alcohol on, it's better to use a lint-free wipe, but you need to make sure it's very wet <laughs> so it'll move across the thing and then wipe quickly. Don't rub, but wipe. And then let it dry. Good. All right, once it's dry, then before you peel it up, you want to rub on your chrome powders. You can use your fingers or the uh, applicator brushes. These come with two applicator brushes per uh, set. So I think I'm going to use this color here. And then you just rub it on. These are very super chrome. It doesn't take a lot of rubbing either. I mean. Okay, so there is the base. Now we're going to do a little dot of builder gel in the middle. Man, mine does not look like you. <laughs> but that's way cool. I mean, it's way cool. She's all done with hers already. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it's gorgeous. I love your builder gel, too, because it's, like, got the flakes in it. She has the Aurora gel. Oh. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my God. So if you want that, all you got to do is get your Aurora Flakes and mix them up in your builder gel. So beautiful. Or when I have the Aurora Flakes in stock, you can get the Aurora gel. <laughs> yes. But I'm out of stock right now. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm getting a pearl. Okay, so I'm going to use this other pearl for this one. It's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Man, mine is too big. <laughs> I had already put the gems down. Oh, maybe if I bring it down a little. So I'm going to use this one for the middle here. And then you put your light back on it. I'm just going to use this light just to set it for a second. So it'll stay there. And then I'll show you how to peel it up. Yeah, mine's all weird looking and <laughs> naked. Yeah, I can never get them straight. If you're very good, you can maybe make it look like the design, but I'm I'm not that good. <laughs> so, you guys think I should put it on, or no? Let me see. Let me see. With and then maybe one of the big ones on top, like that. Oh yeah, put some put some bling in there. Or just do you do have a bigger, bigger one? I don't. 
A bigger stone, I mean, like any kind of rhinestone or centerpiece that you could put in there. I don't. Um, yeah. I was gonna just do uh, some. <laughs> oh, that's some rhinestone cute. dots. That'd be pretty. What is that painted think? on your thing? The circle is that? Yeah, on? it's. Uh, okay. I use the copper shimmer shot. Oh, pretty! I missed it. I was doing something. I guess. Well, but I love I did. it. Lather this bad boy up in yeah. chocolate icing. Oh, look at that gorgeousness. <laughs> I got to do my background, too. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so to get it off of the mat, gently get your tweezers and scoot the edges. Scoot them. Don't pluck at it yet. Once you'll see it lift somewhere, then you want to get underneath it and gently lift it up. And scoot under it. Don't try to peel because there's places that are very thin. There. Once you get to it, then you can peel it up. And then you have your buckle. It's kind of a bizarre buckle, but it's a buckle. I promise. <laughs> then you want to take your alcohol and clean this because there is sticky spot there too. Because the builder gel has that sticky layer on both sides of it. <laughs> Sarah says to, she likes it without. Okay. Kind of do too. I think I'm just going to rhinestone this up. Mine is not as uh, wild and pretty as Wanda's. Oh, yes, it is. Yours is way beautiful. I like the, the gel. I just don't like the shape I did. Maybe if I had done like a straight shape. If you guys have seen my previous rocks, like the turtle had the this type of builder gel and um, the hedgehog witch that I just recently did too. Oh, because of Wanda. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I haven't seen the one, the head, head, have I seen the hedgehog one yet? Oh, that didn't cure. See, builder gel takes a lot longer, so you gotta, <laughs> that thing I'm gonna have to cure more. But, Anyways, it has enough sticky on the back of it. If you didn't cure it, to stick it down just like it is. You don't even have to put nothing on it. Mm -hmm. So, there's the buckle. Pretty weird. <laughs> but you can make swirlies, like, for on the hat part, too. Just the theme. So, you just take your... Where did I put my brush? Hmm. <laughs> Oh. So, like, from the brim, you know, to the, to the nah. band, these swirly bits here, you can just do filigree swirls, too, with it. I know for all the people who are perfectionists, they're probably going nuts right now over there. What I'm doing because <laughs> I oh, don't me have too. A tweezers. Mine's a mess. <laughs> I'm not here for a long time, I'm here for a good time. Oh, I love it. My stuff is not going to be perfect. Okay, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. I will be right back. Okay. Sorry, I know my hand's in the way.
All right, let's cure these three. And we'll maybe kind of little bits. Oops, looks like we got kicked for a second. <laughs> Come on, light work. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it will work with a toothpick. It's just a little um, harder to get like a, a ledge, I guess, or a, a taller point because the toothpick leaves like a valley in it. But it, it will work totally. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> Cute. I <laughs> like the FJ3735AF. Go, Lucy. <laughs> So cute. She's trying to get my hand. Oh. Okay, I am back. Hey, girl. I'm back, I'm back. All that water sipping got me. <laughs> she back. All right, let's see. While that's steering, let's do my back ground. What do I want out there? It's not think? so shabby, huh? It's gorgeous. I feel like it needs more. Like, I want to kind of do some leaves. Yeah, do, do a couple. I might do some leaves. Some, like, little branches sticking out. Yeah. Let me see if I can do it from my memory, because I do not have the thing in front of me. My tablet died. Oh, no. Here. Oh, Wanda to the rescue. Oops. <laughs> it blew away. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it might be too. Is it too big? Too no, close? No, it might be too light. Like the color I'm trying to do. Oh, I can see it. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You'll make it work. We'll make it work. We'll do something here. Just dabbing it into a whole bunch of different colors. And well, that's how leaves are, you know. Oh, my God. Look at that leaf. is like, already perfect. Holy moly. You're so good. No. Oh, you're too kind to me. That's what it was missing. It was missing something out here on the side. Mm-hmm. That looks great already. This the basic shape. Leaves are my weakness. If you guys saw the other live, I absolutely hate doing foliage. I hate it. <laughs> I am terrible at it, but I love leaves, <laughs> but I can't do them freehand. Like I avoid it at all costs. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And I got this here. If you need to see the picture again, just let me know. No, you're good. Thank you so much, friend. Uh huh. It's going to wing it. I think we'll make these this darker copper color. Maybe. Really great. So I'm just going to use my finger this time.
I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. You got it. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look like a leaf. Maybe add a little bit of green in there to fix it up. Make it match. So this swirly bit, I'm going to put kind of off of the band here. See that one there? <laughs> That's gorgeous. Kind of wonder you're so creative. I can't like stand it. I can't stand how creative you are. <laughs> no, it, you know, this came out of a need for, because of the drawing problem. <laughs> like, whoops, my finger. I used the wrong finger. Darn it. And that's going to be on there unless I take it off with the uh, alcohol. Ooh, darn it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and go with it. I'm going to put some more copper around the hat and give it like a, little antique kind of feel yeah let's go yeah. with it see genius is born out of mistake <laughs> not genius but <laughs> oh yeah that really like tied the whole thing together that's kind of cool okay okay that looks great yes i love those leaves it's different This one up off of this side. These don't make much sense, but there's some weird, weird little wispies. I think it looks great. I think it really adds that like extra, you know, like when you go and you see people's houses decorated and they have like stuff like sticking out of their flowers that like yes, looks cool. yes, 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 yes. Yep, Marge. No, it's not Marge, it's Mama. <laughs> Mama dance party. Uh, post your photo in the group event, just the same as you would always do. Same rules so that you guys can still be included in uh, the drawings that they do in the group. Post the, the photo straight in there. All right, I'm just going to grab a couple of rhinestones and then I'll be done. Do it, girlfriend. But, oh, and my background. Shoot, got to do that too. But just the, some glitter back there. I am here Ooh. for it. I'm here to watch you and enjoy. I think I'm done uh -huh. with mine. I don't know. I might wait for this to dry to add a, a couple of uh, glimmers with watercolor. But I can always put it's my It's beautiful. Out. Thank you. I'm not like oh, too Lord. excited about it. I would be super excited if mine was yours, but <laughs> it's not. What? I, I love I yours. <laughs> I love yours. You're like a little faker, Wanda. You're like, oh, I can't do this. I can't art. And then, bam, you come and you're like, yep, killed it, nailed Push it. Now. <laughs> Push now. Push now, darling. <laughs> Do we got to put a crown on this? <laughs> no, I don't know. That doesn't work. But it was a cute idea. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, okay. Don't be stupid, Wanda. Just a few little rhinestones. Oh, my I'm God. All, I do like, have bigger rhinestones. Every round. I'm not that much bigger. Let me see. Yeah, I So I'm just popping a couple around, you know, mm -hmm. not in any kind of pattern. I'm going to grab some smaller ones. Man, I have too many foils and then I just ordered more. <laughs> wow. Well, I can't argue with you. You know, I'm kind of biased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want more? Okay. <laughs> I ordered like a whole bunch of pretty like fall looking ones just for this reason. <laughs> Can 
Have y'all ever taken the time to actually shot through all of the foils that Wanda has? I went through the rabbit hole the other day and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> there is like over 250 foils. <laughs> yes. Like insane, beautiful foils. And some of you know, when I think, when I think that. about that, it reminds me to how this all started. <laughs> I started foiling and then I shared with people how to do it. And then I couldn't find foil that was good quality. So I went shopping. When I found it, I got in contact with the manufacturer. And then I sold that one set of foil, which is our transparent holographic foil. The one that's beautiful with everything. Mm -hmm. And that's where it started. That one set of foil. <laughs> and from there, I was like... Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I love this foil. And then I bought another foil and another foil. And I think that year I had like 60 foils going. And oh then the next, within the next few months, I decided I wanted to make paint. <laughs> so then I was like, foil, what's that? Oh my gosh, have you seen watercolor? <laughs> I am so grateful that you did. So. Oh, Jennifer, yes, the dot foil. We had the holographic silver polka dots was like my favorite foil forever. And I couldn't get it. And Jennifer found it and sent us a roll for a hang up. Thank you so much. She sent us a Titus over roll. <laughs> it was so perfect. So sweet. So thank you. <laughs> All right. I think that I'm done. So this will get, you know, a resin coat no I'm well, I'm sorry I keep saying I think I'm done no I'm not I got one more thing to do it'll be super fast so don't lose faith <laughs> I promise I'll be fast this is pumpkin spice and I'm just adding a very thin stuff I'm going to take out these bright bright orange ones so I'm not digging that oh I love that pumpkin spice I can't wait to get it <laughs> it is awesome. Those bright orange ones are actually glowy. They glow in uh, black light, so they're quite fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Phyllis wants to know when you will have powder quads again because it's sold out. Already? <laughs> I just put it in there. Oh, dear <laughs> Lord. Um, that's a good question. I'll have to go order and then I can let you know. I'm so sorry. Usually it's about two weeks and then I can get them back in the store. I'm sorry. But also, yay. <laughs> yes, thank you guys. And that was off of the link Lori provided tonight that they're sold out because the other so. link is sold out. Yes, but I put a new link. Wowie. Thank you, guys. I might have to run off here uh, real okay. quick. I am or done. Let's just do it. Okay. Thank you so much, Diana, for joining us tonight and of leading. Thank, thank you, you for having me. You're welcome. Okay, guys, I will see you back in the group um, when, or we'll be back here again, 7.30 p.m. Wednesday with Katie Thompson. And uh, we'll see you soon. Yes, thank you bye so bye. much. Bye. <laughs> bye.